the signs of hearing loss are varied, very, very, but the, the main ones we see in the clinic, are normally it's the spouse or partner that forced them into coming to the appointment and they normally complain about the television volume too loud or the radio is too loud. We also find that the spouse or partner or friends are getting frustrated at repeating themselves. One of the major ones I see though is that people consistently complain about other people mumbling. They think that it's not their fault a lot of the time and I kind of have to convince them that it is their fault. But um, it's basically, they walk into a situation with background noise and they feel like the person's not talking very clearly. Um, that's probably the big ones. The other ones would be more that you, a lot of people tend to socially isolate. They, they start, to, the more they have the hearing loss, they don't want to go out into noisy environments as much. They get frustrated in group situations. It can be very subtle. So a lot of the time, the person with the hearing loss isn't the one that picks it up. It's normally a family member or something that kind of picks it up first. With hearing loss in general, you're not gonna all of a sudden wake up the next day and feel like you have all these symptoms. It's a gradual onset. So I think the main ones are television and radio are increasing, you're having trouble on the phone, you're having trouble with people mumbling, you feel like, like people aren't just talking as succinct as they once were.